Kevin Smith from Helena, Arkansas. What uh, Tim uh, and John are doing with the American Land Conservation Conservancy and the Buck Island Campaign is, in my opinion, one of the brightest spots in the region uh, for um, to, to help us economically and not not just that, but also in our environment uh, to help preserve some of the pristine areas around here. And so many people uh, haven't been educated to that fact. So this is an educational campaign. We're trying to show people that uh, people from all over the world come to see the Mississippi River all the time, and we're not adequately investing in the education of our own folks and in the promotion of it uh, to tell people about this wonderful resource. And it's how most of our families got here was this river. My grandparents got to Helena on the Kate Adams steamboat. You know, from, yeah. So, I mean, this river is a part of who we are. And we need to go back and re-embrace it. And we need to educate our, our, our folks uh, about how the, the adequate use of it. John's our ambassador. I mean, John's the, the infrastructure to make that happen. I'm Tim Richardson. I'm the uh, political affairs director of the American Land Conservancy and the Alaska program director. And uh, we're on the Mississippi River uh, in the Big Muddy Wilderness uh, below Clarksdale and Helena on the way to uh, Arkansas City. It's a hundred mile stretch of river that's uh, truly a big wild area in the middle of the country. It's mostly unknown. We've seen some beautiful uh, settings so far, some amazing sunrises and big sandbars and, and uh, great uh, scenery and no people. Um, and uh, that's something that I think that a lot of people yearn for is to be able to get out and experience America um, the way it was uh, when it was first settled and the way it is now. There's a, uh, an attempt by not only American Land Conservancy but also several state and federal agencies to readdress that and ALC's Mississippi River program uh, is an attempt to partner with different uh, agencies, state and federal governments, uh, to get people out on the river because what is used is valued. And once they see settings like we've been through and see the, the beauty and the wonder and the, and the richness of this ecosystem, then they will begin to care about it. And once they care about it, you'll be able to get um, um, the, the congressional uh, members uh, from these states, the senators, there's 20 senators on Mississippi River states, that's one-fifth of the entire U.S. Senate has a stake in this river, and we need to get them to turn their attention to it. Uh, the people uh, can be the leaders as they always are. The individual people by their own actions and, and uh, deeds and words and, and what they care about, politicians will follow the people. Man has attempted to harness this resource and attempted to ignore it, uh, but if we let it reconnect strategically in different places with the floodplain, build these wetlands, all the big river systems where there are people, uh, they have these problems and we can address them and overcome them and bring about a healthier future for people and wildlife and that's what this is about.